What's going on, you 3D modeling beasts? This is JL Musi, and today I have a hard surface modeling request. It comes from my man Stan. He hit me up on Facebook. He's working on a hard surface model and was struggling a little bit, wanted some input. So I decided to create this um, hard surface modeling request, uh, not only for him, but for you guys. I think you'll find some value in it. And he's working on a cylindrical shape, which can be tricky by nature. So we're gonna get in there, uh, create the model, and I think you guys will learn some new techniques. All that in the video coming up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start by uh, creating a cylinder. So I'll go to create, and then I'll go to polygon primitives, uh, cylinder here. Uh, I'll get the option box, and I'll put uh, 32 divisions. And I'll hit create. I'll hit W, move this guy up here on the uh, ground plane. I'll right click and go to vertice mode, but I have this hotkey, so, um, strongly recommend that you do uh, eventually hotkey your components. It is by default uh, hotkeyed as um, F1, I believe. Uh, so if we go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, and then, sorry, the hotkey editor, and we look at the default here. Yeah, so it's, F, it's F9 right here. Um, F9, and I believe... Uh, it goes uh, vertex, edge, which should be F10. Yeah, so these are your uh, default hotkeys right here. Um, but I, I just hotkeyed mine to right here. So it's up to you. I definitely recommend that you uh, hotkey your components. Uh, makes things a lot quicker. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just move these guys up. And I'm just going to be peeking at my reference here. So I'm going to get my multi-cut tool. You can get it via the modeling toolkit, which is right there. Or you can go to mesh tools and uh, the multi-cut right there. So I'm going to activate it. And then uh, if we hold down alt, we can create a edge loop. If we hold down middle mouse or we click middle mouse uh, by um, while still holding on control, we'll get the um, edge loop right in the middle of uh, that range right there. So just gonna peek here, kind of look at my reference. So it looks like we have something like this. And then I'll go ahead and put one right here in the middle. So I'll just go to face mode here and then just delete half. And then what I can do at this point right here is um, just basically focus on this half and then mirror it over. Sometimes I'll create a clone, but for this probably won't need to. All right, so from this point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to my face mode. I'll hold down tab, and I basically want to select these guys right here. And that looks pretty good. Um, so what I'll do from here is I'll extrude out, right? And I want to flatten this shape. So once I move this offset it, I can go to my scale tool and just scale and, uh, towards that axis. So now we have this nice flat shape. And from here, uh, I'm gonna leave this and kind of focus on this inset that we have, right? So, um, and this could be, might be actually Bender that uh, he was trying to create. Uh, kind of looks like it, but um, looks like I need to move this a little bit. So right about here. So what I'm actually looking to do when I start uh, basically pushing things out and uh, carving details in, I'm looking to add edge loops to basically isolate some of that detail, right, within my shape. So I know that's gonna happen here. And then, so I'm basically just laying down kind of these uh, edge loops. And I know that the detail of this cutout is gonna happen within here, right? So what I wanna do is basically, uh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna hold down tab to paint these faces here. And what I'll, what I'll do a lot of times is just extrude in and go inside with the offset. And actually what I'll do is actually uh, select these faces here as well. So I'll create this offset that further segments where this detail is gonna go, all right? 
So from here, what I can do is I can take these faces here and uh, I'll basically want this um, circular or this arc going in here that's gonna carve into the shape. So what I can do is shift, right click, and we can go to circularize components, right? So uh, we see that it's given us a circular shape, right? So let's look at the settings here. What we want to do is we're going to play with the radial offset. So we don't want this um, basically going uh, past that edge right there. So we want to shrink that down a little bit. And then I'm going to change the alignment to surface average. And now you see that it's actually going to take that shape into account because um, if you leave it, um, you know, if you leave it automatic, you see that it's flat. So we definitely don't want that on a curved surface. All right. So that looks pretty good. Um, and I'm not going to worry about this yet. I will clean this up in a second. So from here, we basically want a straight line. All right. So the quickest way, in my opinion, is we're going to get a little bit creative with this. But I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And then uh, I'll go ahead and access my multi-cut. And since the uh, a lot of times the multi-cut works well if we have um, you know proper edge flow. But if we're building things out, what we can do is uh, use the... I'm not sure if this is the exact uh, correct feature or the name for the feature. But um, I believe it's just the knife or the slice setting within the multi-cut. Um, so here you see that we can draw this line and then we can move our camera to align better with that line, right? Uh, and this way, it's not gonna matter of any of the topology, they're just gonna cut straight through it. So I'm gonna hit enter and there we go, right? So now we have that loop that we wanted and it's gonna be easy just to basically kind of gut some of this out. So I deleted that one. I'm making sure that I'm holding down control and delete to uh, actually delete the um, verts as well. So I can go ahead and deselect this. And then I can go ahead and deselect that as well. And here, what I'll do is I'll enable a uh, surface slide, right? Because we, we, we don't want these verts uh, crossing over. So here in the multi-cut, I have that hotkey, but if you go to surface slide, this is a great uh, little tool um, that lets you basically, uh, especially when you're working with uh, shapes that are cylindrical or have some bend, some curvature to it, uh, it's not gonna allow me to pull off the surface, right? So that way we don't have to worry about tweaking the manipulator. We could just slide this and make sure that we don't have an overlap, right? So we're good here. We can go in here, delete this guy, and um, we should be good, right? So from this point, I'll go ahead and take this edge here, delete it, and then I'll take these faces, right? So I'm selecting the range of faces. Uh, so not only can you select um, edge loops as well, but uh, it, it actually works the same way with faces where you select one face, you hold down shift, and you kind of select the um, the outer part of that pattern, and it'll select that loop of faces, right? So we can delete that. That looks pretty good. So from here, um, a cool little trick that I like to do, instead of rebuilding this, um, or maybe doing weird wonky, um, you know, duplications, deleting. What I'll do is I'll select these faces and then we have an option here under um, under edit mesh, which is the um, extract. So we can extract this. Now it's a separate piece altogether, all right? All right, so from uh, this point, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and mirror this. So I'll hit W. Um, I'll hit D here, hold down V, right? So I can shift right click and then I'll go to mirror and then I'll mirror this on the uh, Y 
and it looks like this merge threshold is a little bit too um, large, right? So just make sure that uh, those uh, thresholds, uh, anytime that you merge verts, um, are pretty much on the lowest possible. So that looks good. Uh, so now I'm gonna take both of these right here. I'll go to mesh, combine, now that's one shape. I'll go ahead and take these verts here select all the verts that I need. And then I will go to um, edit mesh, merge, and there we go, right? So um, anytime that you're uh, tackling a hard surface model, right? This is kind of that first pass. Don't worry about adding holding edges. Just make sure everything is clean, especially on cylindrical surfaces. Uh, don't try to, uh, sometimes it's better to touch it less, right? Or um, add, try not to add any edges here that are gonna cause pinching. But this is would be kind of the first uh, setup where we just create nice base shapes, clean edge flow, uh, and everything is quieted, right? So from here, we're just gonna go ahead and reinforce the shapes and then finish out the, um, the final uh, asset, right? I'm gonna delete this and I'll show you why in a second. And we're gonna actually take care of this once we create the whole object, but uh, I'm gonna go to my multi-cut tool. And you see the multi-cut tool will wanna average uh, your results, which is fine sometimes, but I want a straight edge. So here, what I'll do is I'll go to my uh, mesh tools and I'll go to the insert edge loop tool and that will actually give me a straight edge from uh, this edge that I want, right? So I'll drop an edge there. I'll go ahead and do the same thing here, right? So I'll add a edge loop here as well. Add one here. Uh, we can go ahead and add one here as well if we wanted to. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is uh, create an onset uh, or offset because we don't have a lot of breathing room there. Uh, I'll add one here. I'll add one here as well. So this is looking pretty good. Um, so let's see how it's actually going to go ahead and smooth out. So I just hit three on my keyboard. So we definitely want a loop going the other way to reinforce this. So instead of uh, finding this um, mesh tool and going all the way down here, uh, since it was the last tool I selected, I can middle mouse click under uh, mesh tools, right? And I'll get the uh, insert edge loop tool again. I can go ahead and drop an edge there and same deal here. I can do one there, and this uh, bad boy should hold up pretty well. So let's go ahead and uh, go turn a uh, wireframe uh, unshaded off. So that looks pretty good. And this looks good. This looks clean right here. So um, obviously anytime that do, we do extrude, delete these guys here, especially when we're mirroring over. So what I can do here is select this face and a cool little trick is that, you know, I, I could try scooping up with the, um, you know, with the marquee tool, but since we have this pattern here, I could select this interface and if I go to select and we go to grow, we're just going to expand that selection, right? So now we can delete that. We have a clean profile, right? That's gonna allow us for a nice clean mirror. So I'll go ahead and make sure that, uh, and since this is in basically in the world, it's not gonna matter, um, but I'm just in the habit of just snapping that pivot there. So regardless where it is in the world, you can do a shift. Um, so I'm gonna do shift right click, uh, allow, um, get my mirror options. And then if we go object and then the X, this should mirror perfectly, right? Um, we do want to go ahead and make sure that this is at the lowest. You see that it's already starting to pinch some of these. So um, make sure that we put 001. Everything looks clean, right? So from this point, uh, what I'll do is I'll finish out this cap here. So what I'll do is I'll select this guy here. 
this guy here as well. And then I'll do an extrude. So we'll go to, well, I'll go to edit mesh, do an extrude, and then I'll play with the offset. I'll play with the thickness here, and then uh, I'll give it an extra division, right? So from this point, what we can do is I'll have to just select this edge loop here. I'll shift right click, merge collapse, merge to center, and I'll redo it here as well. So merge collapse, merge to center. So that looks pretty good. Uh, then I'll do, I'll, I'll select this guy here and I'll go ahead and create a little offset here and then I'll extrude again, right? So what I can do here is a play with the thickness. So I'll go inward, right? And looks like we left the hang invert there. I'm just gonna delete those, not a big deal. Um, what we could also do is if we add um, three divisions, it adds the holding edges for us, right? So from this point, I can just do uh, this right here and do a control and delete. That should clean that up. Same thing here. That'll take care of that. And then there is pretty much our finished shape. So that's all the information that I have for you folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't done so already, as I do my hard surface tutorials like this all the time. Also make sure to get the hard surface modeling cheat sheets, which is a guide I put together for you guys to get you basically jump started on your hard surface modeling within Maya. Until we meet again, folks, I will catch you next time.